uh, workout today, we're going to focus only on dumbbells. So if you have one set of dumbbells, most of us have maybe one, five, or ten, or fifteen. If you don't have dumbbells, grab maybe two cans, two water bottles, something that you can use as a little bit of weight. Um, but throughout class, we'll start with the warm-up. I'm going to coach Brad throughout our class. Uh, you can pay attention to me for modifications. Um, but give it your all. We're going to do our best effort. Uh, we're going to start with the warm-up about three or four minutes. And begin with just some body weight squats. Go down now. As you do your squat, nice and controlled. I want you to focus on sending uh, your hips back. Externally rotating your hips. Knees coming slightly out. Warming up our body, getting that heart rate going just a little bit for the first couple of minutes. Each movement for about 30 seconds. Good. You can let your arms come out or as nice and right on your chest before coming to. Alright, two. One more reverse line. Reach your arms towards me. Put your hands together, let's start with your left leg. Rotate to your right. Big twist. And feet together and step up. And twist. Back and forth. You're welcome to let that knee have rest if you need. You can lower it wobbly. You can do it wobbly in the lunges. This is a, um, a dynamic movement, so it's not about stability, it's about control. Good. Keep your going. One good twist. Two. One. All right, we're going to do a forward fold. We're going to walk that fourth plate position. You're going to give me a push up. Forward fold. Push up. Ramp up into a downward dog. Good, nice big stretch. Shift your body forward back into another push up. Push up. Go down the top. If you need the modification, you can stretch up to your feet. Press up. Back into the plank position. Big stretch in the neck. Good. Shift forward. Move a few more. And then down the top. And press the heels to the ground. All right. Final movement. Let's lower down. Sit down with your scorpion. Put your hands under your chin. Bend your left knee to 90. Good. Up and over towards that. Towards that right left hand. Good. And then rotate back and over. Other leg, bend into 90, reach it for the sky, over towards your hand. Focus on pressing that arm into the ground, as Brad is doing. Focusing on stretching through your chest and your shoulders as well as your hips. Good. Give me two more. One on each side, and we'll get started. Good, Brad, nice job. Nice stretching. Awesome. All right, everybody, yeah, we're gonna get started. Grab those dumbbells. We're gonna do two movements. Uh, 30 seconds of a 10 second rest, four and five. We're gonna get a little burn in happening. We're gonna start with thrusters. So I want you to grab your dumbbells, you're gonna keep them up at your shoulders. And you're gonna give me a good perfect squat. I want you to power up from open and press. So you can back down. Squat, power up to the press. That's exercise one. 10 second rest, exercise two. Work those biceps. Curl those arms up. You're gonna keep them here in front of your face. You're gonna do squat. It's gonna be about five and a half minutes. A squat, fun, and shoulders. So, be ready. We're gonna go Ooh, 30 seconds, 10 minutes rest, four times two. It's about five and a half minutes of work. Oh my goodness. Do it. Five seconds. I'm gonna close grab here a few times. I'll jump in every now and then. And go. Squat to press. Good. Power it up. Nice. As you press, make sure those biceps are aligned with those gears. Let's press back a little further, Brian. Perfect. Nice. Focus on sitting into your heels. So sit back, actually rotating those hips. Do a press. Good. Squeeze the bum, lift that side of the top. 10 more seconds. Keep it going. That's it, Grand Nice shot. Again, I want to focus on everybody controlling their movement. Use those legs to power that weight up, Brad. Right? Separate it. Yes. All right, set them down. We're going to curl it up. Right by your face. We're going to keep your knee elbows about at 90. Try not to let them sit here, okay? We're going to squat down and up. Good. Good. Grab some back. Good. Squeeze the toes to the top. Fully extend those hips forward. Good. Your shoulders are going to burn. Think about pinching those shoulder blades down and back. There you go, Brad. That's much better. So you want nice tension through here. So then we're not trying to bring forward. We don't want to tilt our shoulders forward. Good. Awesome. That's it. Perfect. Two. One. And rest. Alright, let's go back at it. I'm gonna jump in this time. Keep those weights by your shoulders. When you press overhead, I'm gonna demonstrate. Make sure that we're pressing biceps and legs those ears straight up. One to a motion. Power those legs. Go overhead press. Good. That's it. Power those legs. Overhead press. Good. Lift it up. Now I'm up. Good control. If you can go faster, Go faster, but only if you have control of your 
party. We're not going to bring you down because we're tired. You need to set them down. The shoulders are going to be dead in a few minutes. All right, good. If your shoulders are dying out, whatever weight you have, I can grab a weight you might be tired. You're welcome to grab one of them. Do the same thing, okay? You only have one set at home. Might be too heavy, might be too light. If it's too heavy, bring one, Ooh, put it in front of you, press it, put it down. We're using what we have at home. Just down and up. Give a pinch or so to put it down and up. Nice tall posture. Good. Let's go. Focus on your biceps and two shoulders. Sitting back with your heels, perfect squats every time. Good. Three, two, one. That's it. Good. If two of your weights are too heavy, your modification, you can grab still hold on to one to do the same thing, okay? So, I'm going to show you, you can squat, you can reach overhead, back down, squat, you can reach overhead, and sit. Good. If your weights are too light, I want you to do this after. Give me more reps. Woo. Spread, sit. One way down, you need more <coughs> power. It's power through. You can rest. Check it out. Four reps, four rounds of squatability. We're doing a big burn. Two, one, Woo. rest. <laughs> Good. It's not easy, especially the first round when you're tired. If you're not used to uh, putting that much stress on your body for a short amount of time, it's going to get hard. Good, keep it in front. Hold on your biceps. That's it, Brad. Sit back. Nice job. Awesome. Good. Just throw some legs together. Hold those elbows up a little higher if you can. Keep them there. There we go. Good. Nice. That front curl really helps keep that torso engaged so we don't jump forward. We have a nice, strong squat. Good breath. Nice work. Three, two, one, and rest. One more round. 30 seconds of each movement. Woo. And you can take a breather. All right, let's do it. Grab in and all around. And I'm not going to have two weights. Come on, guys. Let's go. Down and up. And power. Squat. Nice and close movement. Get back. Show me your shirt. So you can into your pocket so your chest does not fall forward. Go straight ahead, camera. Show me your shirt. Good. Almost there. Power. Use those legs. Power those arms up. Use your breath. You can do it over there. Keep going. In time. And three, two, one, and three. All right. Let's go down. Or set it down. Front full squats. Wherever you're at. You want to hold it. Focus on keeping those um, biceps almost parallel to the ground. Good. Elbows up. Right elbows up. There you go, good. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Nice, big chest, tall posture. Sit back in those heels. You have 13 seconds, we'll be halfway. Good. Good, keep going here. Eight more, we're almost there. We've got this. So you can move faster, move faster, or perfect squat form. There you go, awesome back side. Take your down. We're gonna move on to two hard seconds. All right, you can on. I'm ready to come around. I'm going to do a glute bridge pull first. You can do one or two dumbbells, depending on what your weight is. And then you do a plank, and then you can do a down. I'll show you. The first exercise, you can grab one or two with your weight. I'll show you what goes in it. And then come to a glute bridge position. Press those hips up. Tuck your ribs down. You're going to reach your weights overhead. You're going to keep your glutes pressed up. You're going to reach your weights all the way. Almost you're going to tap the ground. Pull straight over. Okay, this is exercise number one. Make sure your back is the part. If you need to drop one weight, you can drop one weight. Hold it again on the side. Same pattern, okay? Working the same muscle groups as left weight. That's exercise one. Exercise two. You can do a plank position. You're going to put the weight underneath your right hand. You're going to grab it with your left. Just it. It's, it's your goal is to not let those hips move from side to side, okay? Two exercises for 30 seconds on, and then go all right, let's down to the ground. We're going to start in five. Good. Get ready, press those hips up and reach those weights overhead. Good. Drive the heels, but keep your glutes engaged, ribs tuck down. Perfect, Brad. Nice job. Try to keep those arms as straight as possible. Feel that stretch through here. Good. You can't quite touch the ground with the weight. That's okay. Don't quite go to the low. 
or drop the weight and just do the one weight instead of two. Nice job, Brad. Good, pull it over, almost there. You have eight more seconds. Good, reach, drive through those heels, hip thrust, core is on fire, turn on, good. Rest. All right, with your plank position, so put the weight underneath your right hand. Okay, you're gonna grab it with your left. I'm just gonna modify it on my knees. Okay, good. Just shift it back and forth. Make sure that your hips aren't moving. Your shoulder is lined up. So your shoulder is lined up over your elbow, over your wrist. Okay, keep it going. That's it, Brian. Next up. Try not to let those hips stand. Try to keep those hips super still. Right through here, run not move from side to side. Eight more seconds. Good rest. Nice work. The wider your legs are, the easier it'll be. Move those feet closer to the hips are still. Perfect. Back to the back. Roll it over for me. Nice job. Right. Press those hips up. Good. Get ready. And go. Nice job. Straight arm pull over. That's it, Brad. Reach and pull. Good. I'm going to show this angle for those of you who might want to see it. To side, hips are up. Reach straight arms overhead. Feel that stretch through your lats. Good. Drive through those heels. Keep your ribs tucked down. Nice big movement. It's going to work on your overhead positioning. Nice pull. You can do that. Exhale as the arms reach overhead. Good. Put those legs down. If you feel unstable, you're welcome to just hold the plank position for 30 seconds. By all means, hold plank position. If you feel control, try to grab with the other hand. Whoops. Yep. There you go. Yep. So you pull it underneath. I'll come to the side so you guys can see side, side pattern too. Okay? So I'm doing it on my, on my knees. Full plank is a bit of a challenge. Good. Squeeze your toes, squeeze your quads. Good. Make sure your shoulders over elbows over wrists every time. Here, Brad, should you weight forward a little bit more? There you go. Perfect. Good. All right, so two rounds now. Okay. Oh, hey. I can't believe it. Go back, go back. One weight or two. It's only up to you. Okay. Then come down. Press those hips up. Good. Full extension of the hips. Brad, drive through those heels. Good. 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 Squeeze your butt cheeks. Kind of like you have a double bill. And do your butt. You keep them tight. Exhale, that's the weight come full head. Inhale as they extend back. Now inhale to brace, exhale. You can do this. Good work. Nice job. Okay, plank position. Remember, put, start with the weight underneath your right arm, grab it with your left. Weight is underneath your right arm, grab it with your left. You're going to widen your legs as easy as you'll be, but closer they are to hard work. That's important. Always look at your arms and make sure they're very vertical to the ground. To the slow control movement, we don't go speedy, don't go fast. You control your body. We don't get sloppy, we just do strong. Perfect. Keep going, keep going, two, one, two, three. Rest. Final movement. On this round, bottom one, 30 seconds. One weight or two, whatever you have, do your best. All right, let's grab this last round. Good, try not to bend those arms, grab. Good, you are gonna keep the arms very straight as they reach overhead. Drive through those heels. Squeeze your butt cheeks so tight. Nice, ride, you got it. Good. Feel that nice stretch through here. Good, and pull. You can do it. Off the park. 10 more seconds. A few more reps. You can do a couple more, people. Keep it up, Brad. That's it. Perfect. Awesome. And pull it over. And rest. Good. Final 30 seconds here. Whew. Final 30 seconds. Focus on your core. Focus on stabilizing that torso. All right. Good. Back and forth. Nice breath. Perfect. That was the modification again. It would be on your knees. If you need, tap that towel center. Make sure we're not bent up with you on your knees. Bend those hips forward. Good. Back and forth. Nice stable in position. Push through the ground. Nice breath. Nice job. Almost there. You have three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Good work. Good job. Okay. All right. 
We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Super exercise. All right, for this next round, you're gonna grab one weight to start with. If it's too easy, you can grab both weights. We're gonna start with one, we're gonna do lunges. The first and last one. Well. So for the first one, you're gonna lunge back with your right leg. You're gonna keep the weight in front of that right leg. Then you're gonna chop it overhead to your left. Come right back down, stand to a balance. So reverse lunge to a chop. Down to a balance. Exercise one, exercise two. We just work our left leg to the lunge to the left. So we're gonna lateral lunge to the left. Now we're gonna raise it straight up overhead. Right back to center. So the first round, we'll go to our left side. The second round, we'll go to our right side. Got it? Great. All right, grab one, wait, and we're gonna start in five. All right, we're gonna lunge back with our right leg. Back with your right, you're gonna chop it to the table on that front foot. You can't go down as much as you can. So this is a slow control movement. This is not fast. You might be control. Fast. Into that front heel. Make sure your weight is not drifting forward in your lunge. You have to get forward and you can step forward, okay? Make sure that you step back there. That's perfect. And chop it. Okay. Go down to the table. Good. Right. So we're gonna lateral lunge to the left now. So you're gonna lunge and keep your heel on the ground. You do step, sit the step back, come down to the front leg. Come back. You can either let your foot press or you can practice again with a little bit of stability control. Press and up to the back. Okay? Nice breath. Good. Make sure your toes stay pointed forward every time. Sit back and raise. Awesome. That way you only need to go to about chin height. You don't need to go overhead. We're just front raising and hooking the shoulders. Perfect breath. Next time we have three, two, one, and press. All right, let's use the other leg now to our reverse lunge. If you have leg weight and this feels too easy, you can grab two weights. Same thing, I'm just gonna go a couple of them. Reverse lunge, reach it overhead. A little bit harder with the weight, come back to the center. For that, If you feel very unstable in this position, drop the weight, go on that, hold the hands together, chop, back center, go on that stability, this is the down, good, and chop, perfect, two more seconds, last one, good, you right side clap, okay, lateral lunges, do not be what you can say, don't be close to control of your body, good, all right, then sit back, Nice, you can do a little bit of shorter step back. Set the hips back. There you go. Good. A little more control of the body. Not about how far you step. You can have those right arms in, but you don't go to sit back, head back. Loading up that right leg. Good. Bring the weight about nose height. Good. Back to center. Good. Lunge. Reach. Center. Lunge. Reach. Awesome job, guys. All right, we're gonna go side one, so back two, the right side. All right, let's do this. Two, one, and come back. And nice big chop. Good, I'm gonna go down as fast as you can. When you balance on that front leg, please squeeze that tush. Stay strong, stay stable, tall posture. Good. Slide the knee body forward, three weights in that front leg. We're about 75 to 60 weights in the front leg in the lunge. Good. And three, two, one. Work. All right, we're not gonna get like you feel it. You're doing it in control. Don't be tired. Your heart might not be super high. But that's okay. You need to properly take your weight to push it. Get the burn and keep it out. Good. Focus on your body, not controlling it. Good. You make your body do what it should. Don't compensate. Good, let's sit back. <clears throat> You're good, back. <laughs> How are you doing over there? Just good. A little bit extra. If you push too much, you're gonna have to compensate. If you're gonna have to really focus on stable and you squeeze that bone. All right, good work. Final leg. Final leg back, let's go. And three, two, one, reverse line, and stop, reverse line. Oops. Okay, good. Good balance. Yep, yeah, stay focused as you can get tired of your body. Yeah. Pull your arm under 
stable. Good. If you need to walk around, you need to let your knee rest. You're welcome to let your knee rest. Okay. But focus on pushing off that front leg. Stand up. Okay? Don't let the back leg do all the work in your lunge, okay? We end up using our back leg too much. And then we feel tension in the top of our knee. Good. Last three seconds, you guys. Get ready for the lunging. Shoulder down, big posture. Lunge your reach. Good. Do a balance if you can. Lunge, shift the hips back. That was good, right? Do a balance. Lunge, shift the hips back. And balance. Good. If your arms are tired, you can keep that weight to drop your weight. Keep going. I just want you to do your best. Keep moving through the range of motion. Do modification. I want you to push yourself as best you can. So if you start compensating, that's okay. Nice work, you guys. Good job. We're moving on. Woo! Right. Final two movements. You're going to be fun. All right, on the final round, we're going to do half stand papers and burpees. All right, so for our half stand paper, I want you to get into your plank position. I'm going to come to the side so you can actually see the full mo movement. So you're going to come into your plank position. You're going to roll your elbow to your side, to your right, roll your other elbow to your side, to your left. And I want you to jump wide. Make sure your feet are super wide, because from here we're not standing fully up. We're going to come to our spot position. We're going to hammer curl. Okay, you don't stand fully up, and then we're going to jump right back out. Okay, those are our half and then makers. Exercise two is a burpee. I'm going to let Brandon do the burpee with a full push up, okay? No weights. Yep. No fear to get your, your heart rate out. You're going to do a burpee with a push up. Jump wide and jump up. Good. That's third final movement of the day. Perfect, Brad. So we're doing half man takers. We're doing burpees. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds press. Four times. Then you need to flex. Be ready. Let's do this with five. Whew. Finish strong. Finish strong. Brad, this is a full man taker. I will show the modified version, okay? So drop down. Modified version, you keep staying on your elbows for it. Okay? And then you're going to step in, step wide. Big chest and that curl, okay? And you'll come back to your knees. To be a modification, if you feel unstable in that plank position, you step right, step left. Curl, good breath. Keep a big chest and that block. Good. That's it, right? Next up. And we modify two, one, and rest. All right, I'm going to modify burpee two. For those who don't want to walk out a full burpee, we'll slow it down. Okay, get ready. You're gonna squat down. You can put your hands down. You're gonna step out to play the distance. Step back into the position. Stand. It can be a modification. If a full burpee is a little bit too intense for you, or if at any time you feel your burpee gets sloppy, you want to make sure that nobody's rounding their burpees, rounding over, and jumping out. Okay? Make sure you have a good squat position in that burpee. Keep going. You have three seconds for that. Two. One, off and work. Back to our half hand makers. One down, here we go. Good. All right, let's move those elbows. Front part, and move my knees. You're going to do a full plank. There it is, grab this. Roll right, when you will, make sure those elbows just come to your side. Don't overextend your elbows or not overextend your elbows. Don't reach so high so that your elbows come so far behind your back. You need to pull the way up to myself. Reach into the elbow to your side. Elbow to your side. Slide. Make a curl. Good. All right, let's just lay down. All right, push yourself so that you're going to need burpees. Modify the knee and push up if you can. Let's go. Good. Good. Stay focused on perfect form. 
elbow to your side, elbow to your side. Good, perfect bicep curl, hold that squat. Externally rotate the hips. So when you do it, make sure your knees are not coming in. You can split and put those elbows on the inside of your knees to help out a bit. Good, come on, you got it. Let's do this. Sit down, three, two, one. All right, burpee time, burpee time. Let's go. Brad's rocking the full burpee, it's time to be modified. That's it, up, perfect squat. Good control of your movement. It does not have to be fast if you are tired, if your form is sloppy. We're trying to stay strong and move well. 13 seconds. Use your breath. I'm slowing down, focusing on my breath, focusing on my core. That's it, nice job, final one. We can do this. All right, last one, Brad. Make them perfect. All right, perfect plank position, awesome control. Control is key. Jump wide, foot low, big chest. Yeah, so those biceps. Move the perfect breath. Keep those hips lifted. Make sure they don't sag into your plank position. That's it. Good breath. Great. Good. Nice. Awesome. Sit. Curl. Yes, you have five more seconds. You can do one more full half man maker. Let's go. Yes. All right. Final burpees. Final round. Give yourself some time. Get ready, not much time. In, go, final burpees. Good control. Perfect push-ups. Perfect squats. Perfect standing to full extension of those hips. Good, 18 seconds. Let's go, you guys. And reach. And 10. <laughs> you got it, Brad. And eight seconds. Come on, give me two more. Or one more if you can. Let's go, two, one, and rest. All right, if you just completed three rounds, we have our final round of exercise today. We're down on the ground, we're gonna start on our back, we're gonna do a core to a chest press. So grab the way down on your back, you can do that on this one for me. Grab both your weights. I want your knees to be up at 90 degrees. Oh, knees at 90 degrees, sit down, knees 90 degrees, we're gonna break our core, okay? So keep those knees at 90, core strong. Now you're gonna give me a chest press, so those elbows touch the ground, press through, good. So, if you wanna make it more of a challenge, you can extend those legs, Brad, just for a challenge, extend those legs out and hold, that's gonna really break your core. All right, ready, you can stand on up. Second next time, you're gonna come quickly to your feet, we're gonna do reverse um, Y, I'll call it reverse Y, so instead of reverse overhead, we're gonna come back from behind ourselves, okay? We're really pinching through those shoulder blades. Then you put those feet behind you. Perfect, guys. That's it. All right. We are going to do this. Step the ground to the knees. We're going to start in five. All right. Feet off the ground. Knees at 90. Put so those knees at 90 as Brad is doing right here. Really focus it on keeping that core nice and strong. He would extend them out more if you could, but or keep them at 90. Whatever you can do, really keep raising the core while you're pressing through. Good. Inhale, that way down. Exhale, as you press up. Good. Nice. Good. Good. Awesome work, you guys. Keep going. And three, two, one, and rest. Stand on up. So when you get to your hinge position, I want you to focus on reaching that butt back. Chest is down, and we'll do that to be kind of pinched behind. Pinched behind. If your weight is slightly too heavy, mind probably too heavy to do all four rounds. I do a couple, and I rest. Good. Good. And then we just rest for the stand up. Back down. We're just using what we can at home. Whatever your best efforts are. If you don't make it too heavy for your muscles, when you can set them down, you can just slide. Be intentional in squeezing and holding. Down, squeeze and hold. Down, right, down. If your weights are even light and it's not passing your shot in your upper body, I want you to focus on your core. Focus on challenging yourself in that pattern. Good. 
That's it. Good job. Good. So we'll come back into the hand and then we'll ground your torso. Keeping your back in neutral onto the ground. So give me an arch position. That's it, Brian. Nice job. 13 seconds. Good. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, way down, exhale. Good. Nice control. Good. Awesome. Two, one, and up. Awesome. Stand up. Now make sure you get up and down so fast. Make sure you're a little higher. So, again, yeah, I'm going to pick up my weight. So, I'm just going to show you if you want your feet heavy for you. I'm going to put my palms together. And pinch, hold, right back down. And pinch, hold, and down. Good. Pop that chest up, Brad. Draw in that heel so you core strong. If you don't feel tension in our back, you don't want to do the same thing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Good. And squeeze. If you don't have weight, you want to go faster and just kind of burn it out. You can burn it out. Yeah. Good. Halfway. Back down to the ground. Now we're there. Good. You can do this. Good weight comes down. Think about pulling your elbows to the ground and pushing them away. So we're pulling elbows to the ground. So we're pushing away. Good. Stay focused. Stay in control. That's the ground. Nice job. You want to extend those feet out a little bit because your core is super strong. You can do that. That's it, Brad. Nice job. Good. Inhale, way down. Exhale. Stay really focused. Intentionally squeeze your chest. Good. Nice work, Brad. Awesome. And two, four, one, and up. Good. Brad, the whole weight. I'm going to go through with no weight again. Good. Back and squeeze. Squeeze. You can even if you have no weight, you can keep your arms slightly lifted out the whole time. We're not going to pull. We're like pulling to the front. Okay, we're squeezing. Squeeze. Squeeze. Big chest. If you need Brad, drop the weights. Come on, we're almost there. Your form gets sloppy, please drop your weights. Doesn't do us any good. Brad's gonna drop it. Do the pinkies. Good. Pinch. Pinch. Let's pull them out of you. Hold them out. Good. Three, two, one. Yes. Last round, you guys. You can do this. So you can do a lot with just one set of dumbbells. You just have to modify when you feel they're really compromised. Or you add, or you increase your difficulty by adding intentionality to another muscle group while you're moving through that range of motion. Good, Brad. Nice job. Yeah, so the legs are a little straighter. Then add one hand to his torso because his chest is strong. Good. Pull the weights down, push them away. Pull them down, push them away. Good. Awesome, Brad. Nice work. You guys are doing great over there. Keep pushing. You have five more seconds. And three, two, one, and last one. Weight or no weight, whatever you can do with what you have, I want you to give it your all. 30 seconds. Good. So we're going to extend down, we're going to keep it out. We're just not going to come full center. We're just going to pulse and pulse and pulse. Squeeze and squeeze. We're going to focus on this line right through here, not down and forward. It's not going to go on another 15 seconds. Good. Keep it going. Almost there. 10 more seconds. Pulse, pulse it, and pulse it, you can do it. Or if you have two weeks, keep going through the range of motion. Two, one, and two. Make sure you guys, you're going to take about one minute. Just to pull the cat on the ground. Grab him, lay down on the ground, on his back. Good. Six seconds on to lay down on his back. Then I want you to pull your right knee, and then put your chest, put that right heel on your left. You know, I just did great today. Okay, I want you to release that leg from your other knee into your chest. Left knee into your chest, place your left heel on top of your left quad and pull. Could we demonstrate that maybe you can get a nice, good, quick 30 minute workout with one set of dumbbells? You can even have that much as you can on the third. Anything else you want to put back back to the today? We just want to show that one weight, one set of weight, you can still get a pretty darn good workout in. Good, and then release that, pull both knees into your chest. Then let's grab the outside of your feet and then we'll have the baby. We're gonna rock from the right side. Two, three, two. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Stay nice and relaxed. Good. Release. And relax. Woo! Great job. Thank you for doing it. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Woo! Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it.
appreciate you. Yeah. Walk, walk in together. Do it if this channel. I'll keep, keep posting or keep watching. Um, like, subscribe, um, come back. We're going to continue posting more workouts, more workouts like this, and also some tips and stuff that you can uh, work on while you're at home.